Buddhism, more than just ancient traditions, offers practical lessons for today's world. Think of it like advice from a wise friend. It teaches us about being kind, compassion, staying calm and focused, mindfulness, and always trying to do what's right, ethical behavior. These lessons help us in all kinds of situations, whether we're dealing with friends, family, or even people we don't know very well. When we ignore these teachings, life can become confusing and stressful. It's like trying to build something without instructions. You might end up with a lot of pieces that don't fit together. Following these principles, on the other hand, can lead to a life that not only feels right, but also earns us the respect of those around us. Importance of humility and apology. Buddhism teaches that making mistakes is human, and it's okay. What's important is how we handle them. Suppose you said something that hurt your friend's feelings. Buddhism advises us to say sorry and really mean it. This shows you're brave enough to admit when you're wrong and care about your friend's feelings. People respect you more when they see you're honest and trying to make things right. Not apologizing can make our friends think we don't care about their feelings, making them sad or upset. Courage and Constructive Solutions Buddhism encourages us to be brave and speak up when we see something wrong. But it also tells us to help find a solution. Imagine you notice a lot of litter in your local park. Buddhism would suggest not only talking about the problem, but also helping to organize a cleanup day. This shows you're someone who doesn't just complain about problems, but also works to solve them. If we don't speak up or help solve our problems, the park might stay messy and we miss a chance to make our community a nicer place. It's like seeing a spill on the floor and just walking by. If nobody cleans it up, it stays a mess. Empathy and treating others. Well, Buddhism teaches us to understand and care for others. Think about how other people feel. If your friend is feeling sad, Buddhism would say to listen to them and try to understand rather than just talking about your own problems. This shows you really care about their feelings. If we don't show empathy, our friends might feel like we're not really there for them. It's like giving someone a present that you like, but they don't. It doesn't make them feel very special. Curiosity and open-mindedness. Buddhism loves it when we're curious and open to learning new things. It's like being a detective in a world of ideas. When you listen to others and are interested in what they say, you learn a lot and they feel respected. For example, if a new employee from another country joins your office, asking them about their home and listening to their stories shows you're interested and makes them feel welcome. If we're not open-minded or curious, we might miss out on learning cool stuff and others might think we don't care about what they have to say. It's like having a book but never opening it. You'll never know what stories are inside. Self-respect and handling conflict. Buddhism says it's important to take care of ourselves and be honest, especially when we have a problem with someone. Imagine you and your friend want to play different games. Buddhism suggests finding a way to play a bit of both games. This shows you respect both yourself and your friend. If we don't handle conflicts well, we might end up arguing a lot or feeling unhappy. It's like playing a game where nobody knows the rules. It's confusing and not very fun. Asking for help and inviting feedback in Buddhism. Asking for help or advice is seen as a smart thing to do. It's like when you're practicing a new sport and you don't understand something. Asking a coach for help doesn't mean you're not smart. It means you want to learn and do better. If we don't ask for help, we might keep making the same mistakes, and others might think we're not interested in learning. It's like trying to finish a difficult puzzle without looking at the picture. You might eventually do it, but it's so much easier with a little help. Ethical Behavior and Integrity Doing what's right is really important in Buddhism. Even if it's something hard, like finding something that's not yours and deciding to return it, people will see that you're a person who can be trusted and that you care about doing what's right. If we don't act ethically, 
people might start to think we're not honest or trustworthy. It's like saying, you'll take care of a friend's pet while they're away and then not doing it. They won't feel like they can rely on you. Generosity and Altruism Buddhism encourages us to help others just because it's a nice thing to do. You could do things like helping a family member with a chore. When you do nice things without expecting a reward, it makes everyone feel good, both you and the person you're helping. If we don't help others, we might miss out on making friends or feeling good about ourselves. It's like having a bunch of balloons and not sharing. Sure, you have more balloons, but it's more fun when everyone has one. Continuous improvement and personal growth Buddhism teaches us to always try to be a little better than we were before. It's not about being perfect, it's about learning and growing. Maybe you're not great at drawing, but you keep practicing and get better. People respect that you're working hard and trying to improve. If we don't try to get better, we might not learn new things, and others might think we don't care about improving. It's like having a bike but never learning to ride it without training wheels. You won't get to experience the fun of really riding. Embracing vulnerability and learning from mistakes Buddhism says that it's normal to make mistakes and that we should learn from them. If you mess up, like forgetting to do a chore, it's better to admit it and try to do better next time than to make excuses. This shows you're honest and want to improve. If we don't admit our mistakes, people might think we're not honest and we won't learn how to do better. It's like falling while learning to skate, but not figuring out why. You might keep falling in the same way. Seeing goodness in everything and everyone Buddhism encourages us to look for the good in people and situations, even when it's hard. If something doesn't go your way, like if you don't win a competition, try to think about what you enjoyed or what you learned instead of being upset. When you're positive, people enjoy being around you, and it makes you feel good too. If we only see the bad in things, we might end up feeling down a lot, and people might not enjoy our company as much. It's like only noticing the rain and missing all the beautiful flowers it helps grow. Patience and Understanding In communication, Buddhism also teaches the value of patience, especially in how we communicate with others. Imagine you're in a discussion that starts to get heated. Instead of raising your voice or interrupting, Buddhism encourages us to stay calm and listen. This patience shows respect for the other person's opinion, even if you don't agree. When people see that you're willing to listen and understand, they'll respect you more. It's like waiting your turn in a long line. It shows you respect the rules and the people around you. Resilience in the face of challenges Another key lesson from Buddhism is resilience. The ability to keep going even when things get tough. Let's say you're learning a new sport and find it challenging. Instead of giving up, Buddhism teaches us to keep trying and learn from our mistakes. This determination is something people really admire. It shows that you're strong and can handle tough situations. It's like trying to ride a bike for the first time. You might fall a few times, but eventually you'll get the hang of it. And that's really impressive. Gratitude and positive attitude. Buddhism also emphasizes the importance of gratitude and maintaining a positive attitude. Imagine it's raining and your outdoor plans get canceled. Instead of getting upset, Buddhism encourages us to find something to be thankful for, like the chance to spend time indoors reading a good book or chatting with family. This positive outlook can change the way people see you. They'll notice that you're someone who looks for the silver lining in every cloud, and that's a quality that earns a lot of respect. It's like finding a rainbow on a rainy day. It reminds us that there's always something beautiful to be found, even in difficult times. By incorporating these additional lessons of patience, resilience, and gratitude from Buddhism into our daily lives, alongside the principles already discussed, we enhance our ability to navigate life's challenges with grace and earn the respect of those around us. Through practicing these teachings every day, we continue to grow as individuals, fostering stronger relationships 
and spreading positivity and respect in our communities. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you found it inspiring and informative. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to our channel and turning on notifications so you won't miss our next video.